Hello and welcome to Restore 316. Today I want to show you all about how to make a quiz to use on your website. We're using the Interact quiz software here and um, as you can see we have the which theme is best for your business quiz already created. I'm going to show you what this looks like on the back end. However, you can start by creating a quiz. Um, that would be the very first thing you would do. And you can choose any template if that makes things easier on you. They have a huge list of categories that you can choose from, or you can choose any of the ones listed here. And I believe that um, it also comes with the graphics and the photographs within with the um, demo that you choose. So let's just take a look at what we created for our quiz here by going into it. Um, you go ahead and click the edit button and you can go to the brand and styling. And this is the um, very first thing that you will see on our quiz. You can edit the cover image just by simply pushing the button and you can um, add your graphics and that's just as simple as that. And then uh, you edit your title here and then you can um, also create the color scheme that you want by using the color codes here on the left. So once you've created your cover page or pretty much the start here page for your quiz, um, you can go on to your results. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, for this quiz, we're trying to match our readers or our customers with the perfect theme for their business. So the answers or the results are all going to be themes. So here you see on the left hand side, we have all of the themes here. When you add a result, you can click the add a result button. You, Sorry about that, took me away from it. Let's go back. We're gonna go to result number 18. You're gonna see um, just a blank place where you add an image and you add the result and then you can link to the URL. So. For this example, we would put the name of the theme here, a photograph of what the theme looks like, add a description of that theme, and then we're gonna call the, the user or the test taker, the quiz taker, to um, go ahead and purchase that theme right here and it's gonna take them straight to our site and directly to that theme. So um, we'll go ahead and remove that result. You can confirm that there. And now we'll go back to the content and you can see right here, this is Tasteful, and it has a description of Tasteful, and then you can get Tasteful today, and the, the uh, test taker, the quiz taker, will go straight to um, be able to buy this theme. So I know you're wondering, how does the quiz know what theme to assign to a quiz taker? Well, you come up with questions that you're going to correlate the answers to. So for example, our first question is, which of the following would describe your business type? And the answers are here, blogger, digital product sales, physical product sales, service, and nonprofit. So we'll go into the edit correlations. And for everybody that answers blogger, it's gonna match them with the themes that are best fit for bloggers. If someone answers digital sales, it's gonna match them with the themes that are best um, used for digital product sales and so on for each category. Okay, so that answer will be saved and then they'll go to the next question. And the next question is what is the main priority of your website? And you can see the answers here. You simply, it's the same thing when you're building it. You add an image, you add a title, you can hide the image if you don't want an image shown and then you can add answers. The most important part is to correlate your answers again. So you can see um, if they answer blog content, it's gonna match them with these particular themes and so on. So what the quiz is going to do, and it's not a perfect quiz, but it really helps um, based off of the answers that the, that the users are submitting, it's going to create these um, pipelines, I guess you would call them, to whatever theme best matches. So for instance, or, or whatever theme is matching to their answers the most. So for instance, if um, as they take the quiz, they answer questions and it's going to correlate with that theme. And as they answer more questions, it's going to take away the correlation. So for instance, 
towards the end of the <laughs> quiz by answering all the questions, it's going to pick the theme that correlates with the majority of the answers that the quiz taker has taken, if that makes sense. I hope, I hope that's making sense. So um, it kind of prioritizes the answers and it's gonna match you to that theme. So for instance, if they answer a question like um, with the full, do you prefer full width image or homepage, there are two answers. So this is really where it's gonna keep um, it's going to really uh, point our user to the right theme. And then it's going to knock them off of all the other possible theme selections. So it's a really, really cool tool. It really helps, um, you know, our, our customers uh, be able to determine what theme is best for their site. And you can add multiple images as your answers, which is a really cool, um, cool feature. So as you can see here, we've got multiple choice and then um, down here, we've had we've added um, images instead, and you can do it like just right here by selecting text or images, and you're adding the images there. And you can add more than two, but for this purpose, we only added two. So really, that is it. That's all you have to do. It's coming. the The hardest part for um, creating this quiz was coming up with the questions that were most accurate for um, our business, um, which is theme sales, uh, WordPress Genesis Child Themes. And we just wanted to make sure that the questions we asked would result in the best correlation of answers. So once that is all finished, you can preview your quiz. And you can even take the quiz in preview mode, which um, will not mess up any of your um, analytics. So that's really cool. We're going to go ahead and just submit random questions or sorry, ra random answers, and then we get the results. So to get your results, you would need to um, enter in your email and your name and boom, I got Glam. So it, would, it could take me over to the site to purchase Glam. So in order to um, finish this up, you would go ahead and push save and exit, and then you can click on the share and embed. So you'll wanna publish the changes, whatever changes you've made, and you can simply use the JavaScript or iframe. You can copy the embed code and put it within a page or a blog post or even possibly in your sidebar. I haven't tried the sidebar yet, but I'm sure you could. You can also use the WordPress plugin, which is what we ended up using was the WordPress plugin. Um, and it works really well. So once you use the plugin, it's going to, or use the script, either one, you're going to create a page. And right here on the top of our themes page is where you can access this quiz. You take the quiz and this is living inside of a page. And we can just direct our customers to this page and they can take it right here on our site. So another great thing about using quizzes is that if you are in product sales, you can also um, have your affiliates have a link to this quiz and um, they're able to promote it as well. And our affiliates have been very excited about this opportunity to share this quiz. Now, when I take it on the, the actual site, there's one other feature that's really cool. So I get my theme, Dazzling, and now I can share it with my Facebook friends and family and everyone else, or I can tweet about it. And I'm not logged in, but you get the point. So you, there's just endless amounts of um, ways that you can use a quiz, whether it's for fun, whether it's to get your customers, readers, or um, users into certain buckets based on their expertise or their, their level of experience or knowledge. Um, or you could simply use it just to guide people to the content on your site that, that they're most interested in. If you have multiple subjects on your site, this would be a really great tool for that. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer them. Uh, this, this quiz software is, is quite, um, quite easy to use and very, very um, intuitive. We're really enjoying using it and seeing the results from it. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.